Meow meow everyone, it's Shadowcat here, yeah! So, welcome back to uh, Not It Spookiest Edition. Um, before we start, I gotta say, uh, don't forget to hit that like button, also subscribe, so we can reach four subscribers. <laughs> and uh, we got potions here with me, yeah, potions, <laughs> potion. All right, so, um, I have to tell everyone that, um, this game has a bunch of different ways and weaves in this, so I think in today's episode I'm probably going to be, like, uh, looking around, see if I can find more, uh, routes and endings in this and uh, that's probably what I'm going to do until, like, the end of October. Who knows? But, boop. So, I might even, like, backtrack on some of this. Uh, I guess go back to the first one. I'm going to go back and forth a lot, so be aware of that. So, boop. Uh, I didn't ask the police station before, did I? No. Police station is just around the corner from the grocery store, so I head there to my relief. To my relief, it's open. Yes, do you need help? I mainly need information. I just moved into town. You see, you picked a terrible time to do it. Is there really an evacuation? Yes, and if you need any help getting out, just say the word. I'm Officer Mike, and it's my duty to make sure everyone evacuates safe. Right. Okay, so now we're in a different route. Why are people evacuating? Technically. Oh, didn't they tell you? It's Halloween. That means the curse will strike soon. If I were you, I'd get out of here while you still can. Right. You mean it's real? Very real. <laughs> You've seen proof of the curse, then? Yes, and it's all been recorded at the Historical Society. Now, unless you need help, I need to finish up a few things here and then check to make sure everyone is evacuated. I see. Uh, thank you for your time. Right. Historical Society, huh? Guess I should head over and see there and try to figure to get this out I find the historical society pretty easily and, and to my surprise it's still open can I help you with something considering the way the rest of the town is right now I'm surprised anyone's here <laughs> I'll be closing up soon I don't believe we've met before though I'm Willow right Katie I just moved into town oh my day of all days I was told I could learn more about the curse if I came here right that's right this is the historical society after all so you can find everything related to our town's history here cool <laughs> and it's really true that people evacuate the town every Halloween yes it's been going on so long now I'm amazed people around the country don't know about it <laughs> this is weird Look for evidence in the curse. Where should I look to find evidence of the curse? I don't even know if I chose that one before. Evidence? That would be scattered throughout our history. Ten years ago is when the evacuation started. Ten years ago, huh? What's the thing I've done with blah 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 blah? I'm not gonna read everything again. That's enough. I think I understand enough now. Good, because it's actually about closing time. Getting out of town to avoid the curse, huh? Actually, I don't believe in the curse. How do you explain all the evidence? Evidence? <laughs> it's all circumstantial. A few bad things happen on Halloween and people see a pattern where there isn't one. <laughs> and that happens. 
Didn't something happen every Halloween, though? Coincidence. Besides, once people started talking about the curse, that must have fed into it. And she's not wrong. I think last time I went with her, but... Uh, yeah. I'm not surprised you say that. Most people believe in it, after all. I've gotten used to being the only one who doubts. Yeah. Doesn't it bother you? Not really. Other people's superstition can't change what I believe. Yeah, that's true. How can you say that? Nope. The curse exists. Doubting the curse is asking for trouble. <laughs> Calm down, Joseph. Calm down? Disbelief like yours is what gets people killed. I'm going to evacuate, so don't worry. You evacuate even though you don't believe in the curse? What else am I going to do? Spend the night all alone in an abandoned town? With everyone else gone, then there would be legitimate things to worry about. <laughs> That's true. Hmm. <laughs> so if you need a ride, you're welcome to come with me. I usually carpool with my friend Rita. Where do people go anyway? Some visit relatives, some plan trips for this time of year. Most just go to the next town over, though. It's about 20 miles away. The motel there loves the business. Oops. I'll bet. If anyone needs to carpool with me, you'd better hurry. Nearly everyone else is gone, and I won't wait much longer. That's Rita. Since I don't drive, I usually go with her. Yeah. <laughs> don't leave without me! <laughs> of course. What in the world? My tires! Mm. I'm it not gonna read everything, to so... Oh god, it's happening already! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down? We're all going to die! <laughs> Uh... Okay. That's right. Officer Mike always helps out with the evacuations. He must still be here. Right. Then let's hurry! We walk together to the police station. Sure enough, the police car is still parked outside. Alongside it. Inside, however, the station is empty. Oh, of Hello? course it is. Anyone here? Okay, so now I've gone a different route, basically. It doesn't look like he's at the station anymore, <laughs> but since he left his car, he must still be in town. Oh god, what if he's already dead? How? We could just wait outside the station for him. <laughs> Back outside, we stand in the part up police car and look at each once he's dead one another he's dead and we're all doomed <laughs> okay always good to save things you know you never know what kind of craziness of this game is capable of uh he's not dead you don't know that and you don't know he is. It's the curse, I tell you. He's the first victim. Oh, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> huh? I thought everyone else had evacuated, but... We a little look at her. Oh, okay. What is it? Look over there! She points towards a small brick building with a sign of... Sign that declares it to be a local inn. More important, out front, a car sits with its motor still running. Someone's still here? Thank goodness! What if it's the killer? Do you really think he killed Mark and then raced into the inn? How? It's possible! Who knows what goes on in the mind of a century's dead ghost? Yeah, he's not wrong. We should at least go and dig a look. Oh, right, I can't do that. Okay. The three of us walk in the game and I follow. Okay. 
I'd be happy to get out of here. All this talk about curses is giving me the creeps. A man standing just inside the inn. Finally, some people. Say, what's going on around here? Who are you? Can we use your car? What's with you guys? You must be from out of town, aren't you? Yeah, the name is Vinny. Came here looking for a room, but there's uh, no one here. This is an inn, isn't it? Uh, it is. But everyone else has already evacuated. We're the only ones left. Right. Whoa! Evacuated? What's going on? <laughs> There's a curse in the town. A curse? Yes, and if we don't get out of here this instant, we're all going to die! <laughs> Calm down. Are you guys on the level? You did notice that there's no one else in town, right? We really need your help. Fine, whatever. People seem desperate, so I'll help out. Cool. Shaking his hand, he walks to the inn door and pushes. Huh? Is something wrong? Door won't open. Must have it backwards. He pulls the door instead and still doesn't budge. What wow. The? You're telling me we're locked in? <laughs> what? Joseph pushes all. Pushes past all of us and throws himself against the door. He's. Blah, 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 blah. Panicking won't help. We need to deal with this logically. Logically. Logically? Are you insane? We're still here on Halloween and someone locked us in! <laughs> I was willing to consider the possibility that what happened to my tires was a coincidence, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> it's happened already. He's already possessed someone, and we're his next victims! It's definitely suspicious. The door... locked accidentally. I've done both of these, so it doesn't matter if I choose. Okay. Suspicious, I guess. Stranger coincidences have happened in the past. We don't need to lose our heads over it. <laughs> Did you have to say it that way? Did you really have to? Could someone fill me in? Did he just say someone was possessed? Uh... As if you don't know. Huh? Joseph, what are you implying? That it's him! That's what I'm implying! He's the one who lured us in here! <laughs> Whoa, lured? Get real! If it wasn't for you, at least we could leave on foot. Now we... I'm not gonna read everything. Someone, someone else is in here! But no one came when I rang the bell. It might have just been the wind knocking the shutters around. Should we go see? No! Honestly, I think we should focus on trying to get this door open. That's our real problem. Right. Well, I'm going upstairs. Is anyone coming with me? Um... As for... I mean, I would like to, like, rough up uh, the old man. Which I'm definitely going to do. I'm going to do that, actually. Next time, I'm going to do a don't investigate and stay down here. Um... I'll go too. Thank you, dear. Hello? Hmm. We should probably check the rooms, just to be sure. I agree. Do you think we should stick together? We probably can cover more ground if we split up. Um, let's split up. Let's split up. All right. Either of us runs into danger, we'll just shout for help. Right. Got it. Who are you? Ah! Never seen you around here before. You a visitor? Uh, I just moved into town. My name's Katie. Okay. I'm, I'm the innkeeper. The innkeeper. We didn't think anyone else was still in town. Down while checking to make sure the rooms were empty. 
If you're the innkeeper, you must have the key to the front door, right? Okay. Well, a group of us came inside, but the door locked behind us. That shouldn't be possible without the keys. Uh... Nope. Okay. Not the staff or security or anything? Now, I've got the only set of keys. Room keys are a different matter, but the main keys I keep with me. Okay. <laughs> Can I have the keys? Everyone's panicking and we really need to get the door open. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna start roughing him up. Ha! What? You really think I'm gonna hand over my keys to someone I never met before? Right. If you can't walk yourself. You might be planning to run off and leave me here. Or maybe, maybe, you're possessed by the dead fella and you plan to lock me in. Uh, well. That's ridiculous. Say what you like, but you're not getting these keys. Uh, uh, I don't want to do this by force, but this is the route I have to take. Uh, boop. I'm sorry, but I need those keys. I march over to him and reach out. He has tight grip on the keys, but I wrap my hands hand around his around his and start to pry his fingers loose. Oh, no, you don't. He pushes me away, but I move faster, gripping him, gripping him with him. Just give me the key. Between his age and his injury, he isn't strong enough to wreath the keys with this grip. I'll be back for you after we unlock the door. Right. I hurry back out of the room and into the hall. There's no sign of Rita. Uh, inside the room, Frank is still yelling. This could be a problem. I need to get downstairs and first and unlock the door so I can return the keys to him. Stairs crack under my footstep as I head back down. <laughs> Downstairs in the lobby, well, everything in the blah 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 blah. Uh, Katie, what happened to Rita? You mean she didn't come down first? No. Strange. Wonder what's taking her so long. <laughs> Joseph says. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I got the keys from the innkeeper. Mm -hmm. I hope that the keys are hurry to the front door. Keys? Then we're saved! You mean Frank is here too? He hurt his leg, so he's stuck upstairs for now. I'm sure he'll forgive me for borrowing his keys once we're all we're able to escape. I cross. I crouch beside the door and look at the set of keys. Finally, I start trying each one until I find the large brass key. It slips into a lock. Okay, Jesus, I can't read today. Yes. I twist it and pull the door and it doesn't budge. Huh? I try to push the door instead. Still nothing. Puzzled. Puzzled. I try to remain... Remain... I tried the remaining keys, but none fit. What's wrong? The key fits in the lock, but the door won't open. That crack from the staircase makes me jump. Okay. I look up and see Rita coming down the stairs, but she isn't alone. Mm -hmm. Officer Mike is with her. Oh. You're alive! Wait, did he think I killed her? And Officer Mike? It turns out he was the one we heard. He was helping Frank. Mm -hmm. I understand you folks have gotten yourselves locked in. Possibly, but I just tried the key and it didn't work. It fits, but the door still won't open. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not good. Uh, 
Could something be blocking the door? Is it just broken? I don't see any sign of damage, but it's possible. What? Someone jammed something in the lock to break it. It can be done. Surely <laughs> we'd have noticed if it was one of us. Maybe. Would we have? <laughs> we were also anxious to get inside and see who was here. Still, someone breaking the lock would be pretty hard to miss. Yeah. But not impossible. What do you have in that purse of yours? Maybe the tools needed to break a lock? But, but how? <laughs> Are you crazy? Calm down, all of you. Accusing one another won't get us anywhere. Let's sit down and talk about this rationally. Right. If you want to sit and talk? We should be finding a way to bust out! If one of us really is possessed by the spirit of Matthew Hayer, a situation like that is exactly mm -hmm. what could give him the opening he needs to claim a victim. Or for someone to panic and do something irrational. <laughs> the best thing we can do is keep an eye on one another until morning comes. Well, at least we can all agree that I didn't do it. Wow. Whoa, you all came in after me. The door was working fine then. And you all had your eyes on me the entire time. <laughs> sure. It's a point yeah, there, but yeah. How did we know you didn't rig it so it would break after a set amount of time. You've gotta be kidding me. I I swear this experiment is so insane. We can sit around here throwing around what if ideas all night, but it won't get us anywhere. Right. Does anyone have any proof, any hard evidence that might point toward a culprit? Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I know who did it. Oh, okay. Read it. You do? Yes, I think it's Katie. Why is it? What? What? Okay. I can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> Me? Why would you say this, Rita? I talked to Frank before we came downstairs. He said Katie attacked him. Uh, uh, mm. All he did was take his keys. You attacked an injured old man because you couldn't wait a few minutes to try unlocking the door? Yeah. He refused to give them to me and we needed to get out. What was I supposed to do? But you were one of the last ones to enter the inn. You could have trapped us in here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How this become... Issue for me, Jesus. Come on, don't you see this is ridiculous? Katie, you're new to town, aren't you? Uh, well... That's right. Since none of us knew you before Halloween, it would make possession that much more difficult to detect. <laughs> of course, she's the perfect choice. You really all think I'm possessed? It's just our theory right now. Right now? What are you going to do? Nothing. What? If no one tries anything, nothing needs to be done. As long as we keep an eye on each other for the rest of the night, nothing can go wrong. Uh, this is an angle I didn't I don't think I've gotten before. I don't remember exactly though. I am interested in seeing how this turns out though. Fine. Wait. If all I have to do is sit here all night, that's fine with me. Are you sure this is a good idea? It's the only way we can survive this night without further bloodshed. I'm what do you mean further? This. What do you mean further? We're just going to sit here, staring at each other all night. <laughs> Not like I have anything better to do. Yeah. If everyone is comfortable, we're gonna be sitting here all night long. Yeah. Oh. With that said, our long night begins. Vinny and Mike went upstairs to help bring Frank down to the common room to join us. If you need to sleep, don't worry. 
I'll be able to stay up all night long by myself if necessary. Okay, so they all switch positions now. <laughs> oh no! No way am I going to sleep when there's a killer among us! I won't risk being the one killed! <laughs> no one is going to kill you. Of course not, because I'm going to stay awake all night so they don't get a chance. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Man, you people make me nervous. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight either. Man. We make you nervous? You're the outsider here. Well. And do you have any idea how you come across to a stranger? <laughs> Let's not start fighting now that we finally agreed to settle down and wait for morning. What are we going to do then? We can't just sit here staring at one another all night long. Why not? We could tell stories. Ooh, stories. Stories? Sure. Something to keep ourselves distracted so we don't fall asleep. Right. I can't say I'm quite in the mood for stories at a time like this. Don't really have much of a choice. But... All right. This kind of like how did this like turn into like me and then just like okay it, it, I swear this experiment has gone like crazy. <sighs> I do wish whatever. Me neither. Frank makes a good point. If we get to know each other, I'm sure we'll all feel a lot better. Right. But we all know each other, except for Katie and Vinny. Then maybe it'll help clear up any lingering doubts about them. <laughs> okay. It's so suspicious that we'd get two outsiders on Halloween of all days. For crying out loud. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd come on a different day. This has probably given you a pretty bad impression of our town. Yeah. To move into a new place and immediately be told there's a curse on it, and then for all of this to happen next, <laughs> you could say that, yeah. It's been quite an experience. Right. <laughs> you should have known better than to move here on Halloween! Oh, great. Now we get three choices. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stick with the first one, because, you know. You do? Until this year, anyway. I can hardly imagine enjoying Halloween. <laughs> Did you guys forget that for the rest of the world, it's just a holiday? Scary <laughs> movies, Halloween parties... Costumes, candy, trick or treating. It's not like that here anymore. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know that ahead of time. Why did you move here anyway? It seemed like a nice town, and I got a good deal on the house. Are you sure it wasn't the curse drawing here? Maybe Matthew Hare wanted as many potential victims around as possible. <laughs> He stares specifically, suspiciously around the room. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Everyone knows he only has powers on Halloween. Right. What if we're wrong? Huh? What if he pretends to only have power on Halloween to lull us into a false sense of security the rest of the year? Uh, now, that's just crazy talk. Oh, that's crazy talk? Okay. Wouldn't put anything past him. Why are you so convinced that the curse is real anyway? Because there's evidence. He shudders and closes his eyes. I was here okay. another Halloween, years ago when I was a teen. What happened? Everyone was evacuating, but I didn't understand. I thought it was a game, like it would be fun to sneak back against the rules. It was just something people were telling me not to do. How was I supposed to know it was this serious? Calm down. 
Sorry, I, I just... Are you saying your family evacuated, but you snuck back into town? That's right. I saw... I saw... He shudders. A few people stayed behind. One was hunting the others. With the butcher's knife, I... I don't know what happened next. I ran. I tried to forget what I saw. The next day, we came back home. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. He stares past us, his eyes wide. Someone died. I heard them talking about it. And I knew. I knew what I saw that night was... He falls silent with another shudder. What happened was terrible. But it doesn't mean there was a curse. How? How can you stay so calm after what's happened here today? I believe there is a logical explanation for everything. Um, uh, sure. Not everything, everything, but, you know. Hmm. Like what? People become dangerous when they're afraid. The curse fuels paranoia, which leads people to do desperate things, which in turn causes more paranoia and fear of the curse. Right. You think it's a cycle? Feeding on itself? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, that still means it's dangerous to be here on Halloween! A self-fulfilling prophecy. Doesn't that mean we could overcome it if we all work together? Yeah. That's what we're trying to do right now. I know, but... <sighs> Next year, it'll be the same thing. It'll never stop. <laughs> That's the curse of Matthew Hayer. <laughs> curse or not, I suppose he got his revenge, didn't he? Yeah. What do you mean? Terrible things have happened in this town. One wrong move could have led to a tragedy here tonight. In the end, does it really matter if the cause was supernatural or not? Yes, it does. Ah, maybe not. Dead is dead, whether the killer is possessed or just misguided. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's the best attitude to take. <laughs> Why not? Someone who is possessed can't be held responsible for their own actions. It's an important difference. Right. I'd say someone driven by unreasoning fear isn't entirely in control either. That's why we need to break out of the cycle. Okay. Uh... Okay. I don't have enough time anymore for the rep to keep going, so I'm just going to end here. So don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 40 subscribers. Yeah. And uh, we got potions here. And if you don't, Potions here will not give you any candy. Yeah, me, 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 me